Well, one thing you may not know about me, I love shrimp. I love ordering it in the restaurant, but maybe not so much the idea of cooking it at not, home. Not a no. great, no, okay. Well, the good thing about shrimp is you can pretty much do anything with it. You can grill it, broil it, saute it, poach it, steam it, fry it. And here to show us how to cook it Caribbean style is Laura Sidnor with Snapper's Waterfront Cafe in Cambridge. Thank you so much for coming in, Laura. Well, thanks for having us. So having Caribbean you. style mm -hmm. sounds good. What's in it? What are we making? Well, when you cook Caribbean, it's ext everything is just very fresh. Uh huh. And you always have to add a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to use some fresh pineapple, some fresh garlic, um, red peppers, green peppers, some onion, um, and some coconut milk. Oh. Um, just to give it a little bit of sweetness because when you do add the pepper flakes, um, it just gives it a little bit of heat. So okay. that's okay. what we're going to do. So I want you to cut up my peppers my and my onions okay. and just and do onion. one or two of the pineapple and you can just get that nice, get it nice and hot. Okay. So this, is, this is the butter in here, right? That's butter. Yeah, yeah. just chop it up. Shrimp doesn't take long to cook. So mm -hmm. we want to do your vegetables first because you want to get them nice, nice and, and soft. soft yeah. I've already cooked the rice ahead of time because we don't have that kind of time uh -huh. on the show. <laughs> so you want to just do that. Here, I'll take these and we'll start. So that's okay. Them. And we're just yep. going to go ahead and start yep. sautéing these start sautéing in real them. butter. Yep. I got to tell you the truth. I think I need to sharpen this knife. Maybe. Yeah, I had trouble with it earlier too. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably make better time with a chainsaw here. Yeah. <laughs> So you're getting a lot of fresh vegetables. Yes, and things we don't use anything that is frozen or processed. Uh. Everything in the restaurant is completely made to order and it's fresh. So, and you know, my husband loves the Caribbean. Our best friends from Jamaica, so we have a lot of really great recipes. Yeah, and we use it all at our tiki bar, which is the only one in Dorchester County. Ah. So, oh, and we've been around for 20 years this year. This month, actually, we just wow. celebrated 20 years in business. Congratulations! Congratulations. Thank That's you. great. I know. It's it's a feat, trust me. <laughs> no, I'm chopping this too. Yep, just, just too. one or two of them. Just okay. get them nice and soft. Now you had mentioned that you already cooked up the um, rice. Mm -hmm. Do you? What's the best way to cook rice? I mean, boil it in a rice maker. I just boil it, just yeah. you know, the way my mother did. That's uh -huh. it. Just a little bit of salt in it, and we're good. Um, but we just don't have the time to do it here. Right, okay. right. Put that right there you go. There. All and right. So you just cook that all up until the vegetables are nice and tender. Um, okay. Oh, you I'm can sure. go right ahead. You can Jimmy. Add, <laughs> we can add a little bit of our garlic. Oh, sure. Okay. Okay. Oh. There you go. Fresh, of course. <laughs> yes. Yes, that. Dice that for, for you. You want to do some salt and pepper? Okay. Just a little bit of pinch. Yep. Pinch of each. Yep. Maybe. There you go. A little bit of salt. And when you cook, obviously, you know. But, you know, you always taste it when it's done. It might always need some more. And oh, that's yeah. some red pepper flakes. Now, if Jimmy were in charge of the dump red pepper. Yeah, in yeah. See what I'm saying? That's all right. If he that's were in it. charge, You're fine. he would dump the whole thing in there. Okay. <laughs> Just cook that for a little bit longer. Uh -huh. And let's add a little bit of our coconut milk. Coconut milk. milk. Okay. Which a lot of people are using in a lot of recipes. It's actually good for you. It is. It mm -hmm. lowers your cholesterol and it helps with your blood pressure and stuff. So it's very, actually, it's very good for you. It's the good fat in there. Wow. So, and that'll thicken up a little bit. But while it's doing that, since mm -hmm. we don't have that kind of time, we will put our shrimp in there. Okay. And so shrimp just... doesn't take very long to cook. How oh. long? This, I mean, it will probably take about five or six minutes at the most. Really? So at the very most. And what's good about shrimp, which I um, enjoy, is that you can serve it, you can do anything with it, but you can also serve it cold. Yeah. You know, so if you have leftovers, you could actually put all this together and just make it a quick, you know, little salad. So cooking my shrimp, what am I looking for? You're looking for it to turn pink. Turn okay. pink. Because it's translucent at the moment. Uh-huh. Okay, so it will all turn a unified pinkish color on the outside and more on, like a white on the inside and you can see the finished product over there. Okay, now while we're waiting for that to cook up a little bit, mm -hmm. I'll let you know there are several ways you can get the shopping list and instructions on how to make this recipe. You can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page or give us a call. 443-880-9116. Make sure you note that you would like <laughs> the recipe for Caribbean rice or Caribbean shrimp over rice yes. or Caribbean, mm -hmm. however you want to pronounce it. That's right. All right, so I, I didn't want you to think I was getting anxious or anything. Uh, but. No, <laughs> no. Usually I'm the one grabbing the fork, so we're, this has a little time to cook up. So we're right, going to go ahead right. and taste it because our kitchen is great. magical that way. Our so. magical kitchen. Yeah, I, I feel like I should take a little bit of this. You do that because I'm going the for the shrimp first. Yeah. And you got I'm the doing rice both. Up, mm. You got uh -huh. the rice on the bottom. Mm -hmm. well, love the oh. shrimp. Mm. That's awesome. <laughs> Don't mind us. No, please eat. Are you okay with us eating it first? Oh, please do That's that. That's a good thing. Yes. 
Now we can use brown rice right if we want, you right? You can use mm. any rice. You can do anything you want with this recipe. It's easy. It literally you can feed, you know, your family in less than ten minutes. I like that, and they would love that. Yeah, sure. Laura, thank you so much. Thank you that for is having us. Could use some more recipe. pepper, though. Why don't you hand me the? Uh, yeah, I'll go. just you just dump it in there. <laughs> You well, do it too, wouldn't you? <laughs> Once your belly is full, go ahead and get comfy on the couch. We're getting ready for the season premiere of Big Brother. And let me tell you, just like in previous seasons, the house guests are full of personality. We're going to meet them a little later. And here's something that is full of history, the Fen McClyde House. Up next, we're going to pay a visit to this Delmarva treasure and find out how you can keep it a shining beacon along our coast. Delmarva Live, we'll be right back. <laughs>